Now today is of course about this new wave of products and we are so excited to bring this to market. Uh, Windows Server 2008, Visual Studio 2008, SQL Server 2008 are the next wave of deliverables against this dynamic IT vision. Let me share some interesting statistics with you about this release. More than 4 million evaluation copies of this server has been downloaded uh, in advance of the final release of the software. To put that in context, that's three times the number of customers that downloaded and evaluated Windows Server 2003. And what that's meant is dramatically higher degree of testing, much more community feedback from developers and IT professionals and database administrators that we can weave into it. We had uh, more than 300,000 people around the world get trained on Windows Server 2008 already. And 10,000 people have actually passed the certification exam on a worldwide basis already. And as we looked at this set of releases, we wanted to innovate and integrate across them in a number of important areas. Areas that you asked us to focus on. Build us a trustworthy, secure, reliable platform that scales to mission-critical needs. Build in the next generation of virtualization technologies. Help us with our web and developer productivity and push us to new levels in terms of what we can do with business intelligence. And so what I'll do in the second section is I'm going to talk about each of these four areas and how these products together are really trying to deliver on them. So let's start with the first, a uh, secure and trusted platform. Well, there are a number of areas that uh, we've done some uh, major focus on. The first is around security, plain and simple out of the box. And some of the things that we think about a lot when we build a server operating system or a mission critical class database or how we make it secure by design. How do we make it secure in its default configuration? How do we make it secure in its deployment? How do we ensure that we minimize the number of security vulnerabilities so that you can have a trusted platform to run on? Well, we've done some incredible innovations here. With Windows Server 2008, one of the major new deliverables is around the server core functionality. So with server core, you can install only those pieces of the operating system that make sense for that particular workload. <coughs> it might be a domain controller. It might be in the IIS configuration. It might be as a file and print server. Well, what that does is we've hardened that server core environment We've taken our best hackers and tried to do attack penetration testing on it. We've pressure tested it in terms of availability, and the breakthroughs are just phenomenal. We've done some other really interesting things in this area as well. Uh, one great thing that you've asked us for is read-only domain controller functionality. So many of you are running uh, Active Directory and domain controller servers in a branch office and have looked for ways to reduce the total number of servers and the management capability and improve the security. Well, with the read-only domain controller, we can do just that. So many, many organizations around the world are actually seeing some huge advantages in terms of not only green IT costs, because you can actually run that in a lower workload environment, but also reduced management costs. You don't have to have someone over there. You can run it in a more secure environment. Availability. These systems have to perform at the highest levels of system uptime, and it means that we have to innovate in a number of areas. From an availability perspective, we're introducing new mirroring technologies. If you look at SQL Server 2008, an amazing feature that we're adding in is around resource governance. A Microsoft platform really operates as a sort of a, a world-class citizen in a heterogeneous environment. And so it means from a product perspective, we have to innovate in terms of the interoperability capabilities. So you'll see us do things like with IIS 7, the PHP support or our support for Linux-based virtualized environments that we're innovating again. But it's equally important in terms of our commitment to the industry. <coughs> so our commitment to the industry includes things like the Interoperability Vendor Alliance, or Microsoft, Sun, Novell, HP, Security Partners, Cisco, upstream of our customers do a high degree of interoperability testing, and even things like we've done like our public commitment to interoperability. You may have seen a large announcement four weeks ago that we did around opening up the protocols for our client-server approach. Because our conviction that we have to deliver systems that are interoperable is so high, this wave of release, uh, releases delivers in a way we've never done before. And we'll continue to focus there. There's a set of interesting metrics that I would share with you. 
terms of the Windows Server operating system, if you just think about that server core functionality, what that means, we think that there's about a 60% reduction in total attack surface area. That's going to be really powerful in terms of securing these systems. In terms of power consumption in green IT, we think it'll be about a 10% savings in terms of the total power requirement for running these workloads. I mentioned this new approach to building software that was more secure. And what you see in the middle is a comparison of Oracle databases 9, 10, and 11 over the last few years relative to Microsoft SQL Server Platform. And what you're seeing is a chart from the United States National Institute of Security Technology that looks at the total number of reported security vulnerabilities in those platforms over time. Oracle's had more than 200 over the last few years. SQL Server's had zero critical vulnerabilities. That is a function of a discipline around building software from an engineering perspective that's designed to be free of software defect. We take that discipline, that focus, that, that scrutiny of how we build and deliver software to everything we do across this wave of releases. SQL is also scaling to new levels that we've never done before. Uh, with the new Transaction Processing Council TPCP benchmark, the new standard in online transaction processing approaches, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 has the top five boxes on that. The SAP Sales and Distribution Benchmark has great new numbers for SQL Server on the four-way boxes. And if you think about Visual Studio, not only are we seeing the adoption of that increase dramatically year over year, but interestingly, from a security perspective, uh, very few people, when you went and, and learned how to be a developer and took computer science classes, took a class on how to build software securely. That class just doesn't exist for the last 10 or 15 years. And so in Visual Studio 2008, one of the key innovation areas is the integration of things like Prefix and Prefast. So when you develop and compile code, before you check it into the tree, we can help ensure that a, an error in coding doesn't result in a potential security vulnerability for your critical line of business application or your website moving forward. So some great progress across this first core area of the launch wave in all three products. 